Okay, everybody, um, welcome back to my second test. This is my second static test of my solar pool pump. Um, I'm going to do this one last test before I plumb it into the pool plumbing and wire it up properly. I'm doing this test because I have uh, the solar panels uh, mounted where I want to have them mounted. I wanted to do this test before I plumbed it in just to make sure it was going okay. Um, it's kind of hard to do the test on it um, and hold the camera and the stopwatch and the bucket but it looks like based upon uh, how fast I filled a five gallon bucket I was getting about 60 gallons a minute. Um, I'm going to show you where I've got the panels mounted. I mounted them up here on the top of my shed. There's three 230 watt panels. I've got them wired in series with a 15 amp fuse. Of course I'm going to use a, uh, a proper PV, uh, PV wiring when I finally wired in and a PV disconnect. Let me show you the equipment and what I'm going to be doing. So it's a uh, Vivor uh, DC motor. I've got it mated to a old Purex bronze pool pump housing. And then I'm going to show you where I'm going to be plumbing it in. All right, so here is my pool equipment. And the reason why I'm doing this project is you can see this is my uh, AC pool pump motor. I'm here in California and we are totally getting ripped off on electricity. I just got my last bill and we're over 30 cents a kilowatt. It's costing me about $200 a month to run this AC motor. Um, some people said, oh, well, just get solar panels for the house. Well, I'm not going to spend $20,000 for solar panels so I can sell electricity back to Edison at a discount and get ripped off. So I decided to hook up my own off-grid pump motor to handle this. Now, I did a lot of looking into this, and I was trying to figure out how to just get a DC motor and install it into my existing pool pump housing. But these pool pump housings require a threaded shaft motor. And the only DC motors I could find were slotted shafts. So that's why I had to track down that old Purex bronze pool pump body because it accepts a threaded shaft. If any of you know uh, where to find a threaded shaft DC motor, uh, I think it's a 56C, please put it down in the comments. Um, and by the way, um, if you're going to do something like this, you need to hire a, a qualified licensed uh, electrician. You could uh, kill yourself electric or seriously injure yourself with electrocution with a uh, high power DC. Um, I'm just a homeowner. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't do what I'm doing. Okay, so a couple of things how I'm going to be. Um, let me zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to be um, mounting this up in parallel parallel where I'm going to have the existing pool pump as well as that new solar pump mounted so I could use either one or both of them and I'm going to be putting these check valves on top of each of them so that when one pump is running it doesn't backflow into the other. The other big change that I'm going to be doing is uh, this pool was built 
by a pool company out of Riverside, California. And I don't know if they're incompetent or cheap, but why on earth would you put hard 90s when for just a few cents more you can put a sweep 90 on these bends and improve, improve your flow rate? You will literally, um, over the course of a pumping day, that could be a thousand gallons of extra water you can pump by not having that restriction. So I'm gonna be changing out all these hard 90s with sweeps. The other thing that I'm gonna be doing is the way they mounted, uh, the way they plumb this, the heater flow is constant through this system. And if you know anything about these heaters, there's a lot of restrictions in there. So why would you run the water through this heater whenever the pump's on when you don't need the heater. So I'm gonna be plumbing in a heater bypass valve with the check valve so that I can uh, completely bypass the heater when I'm doing this. All right, so once I get this all plumbed in, I'm gonna make a second video, but right now it looks like the pump's working fine with this second test and uh, good luck everybody.